Seventeen years ago, when I was born, my father bought me a piggy bank, and he put a penny in it for luck. And I'll say this for my father. Anytime I'm in trouble, he's right there with another penny. <laughs> Why am I talking about money? Same reason as always. Failure Menninger. Ah, failure. Failure the lovely, failure the divine. And she's so unpredictable. She's the most predictable, unpredictable girl I know. One minute she comes up to me all sweet and soft and creamy. That, that's the way she is for one minute. But the next 59 minutes, she's like that with some other guy. <laughs> oh, gosh, Thalia. Gosh, what? Gosh, you're sweet and soft and creamy. Now, that's because I'm with you, don't be, dear. How about going for a nice long walk? Uh, well, I can't. I promised Chatsworth Osborne Jr. I'd wait for him. Chatsworth Osborne Jr.? That snob? Well, if he weren't rich, you wouldn't but even... But he is. Money's all you care about. You wouldn't even look at Chatsworth Osborne Jr. if he didn't live in that big house on the hill and drive an expensive sports car and was poor. We'll never know. He's loaded. Yeah. Look what he gave me. Smell. Ugh. <laughs> the most wonderful perfume in the world. Oh, yeah? Well, what's it called? Mmm. Mmm. Spell it. M M M M M. Oh, oh, French, huh? <laughs> uh, listen, Thalia, oh, wh why don't you and I just oh, go... Oh, hi, Chatsworth. Hi, Thalia. Hi, Gillis, baby. Look, Thalia, you just forget about Chatsworth Osborne, Jr., and we'll take that nice long walk. Walking builds up the calves. It's, it's vital to have strong calves. In case of fire and stuff like that, there's yeah. nothing like strong and calves to get you out of there fast. Eighteen dollars Listen, you stick pounds. with me, Thalia Minninger, and I'll buy you a whole pound of that stuff. Well, why should I wait for promises when Chatsworth can buy me everything I want right now? Okay, okay. So he's got money. But I don't hear you bragging about his calf muscles. Listen, any time you want a broad jump against me, Chatsworth, just holler. Four. Yes, it was rather, wasn't it? Oh, I bet you have the strongest calves. Oh, would you care to feel them? May I? Just one. I... Oh, they are strong. <laughs> <laughs> That's such exquisite perfume. Mm. <laughs> Smell. 28 oh, feet. Hey, watch that. She's with me. She's my girl, practically. 28 feet. Well, we did have half a day, but you can forget it, it, about that. Half a day? What do you mean, half a day? Well, you'll be here and I won't. Bye. Bye-bye, oh. Gillis, baby. Hey, 28 feet? Why so pale and wan, fair lover? No, it's just my calves that are pale and wan. What? Never mind. Okay. Never mind what? Maynard, you asked me why so pale and wan, fair lover. No, I didn't. That's something I got to learn for English. Oh. I don't like dig it. I thought maybe you'd clue me. Please, Maynard, I've got enough troubles with failure. But I need help, and if you don't help me, good buddy, who's going to help me? Oh, okay, Maynard. Now, 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 look, it's a poem, like a lyric to a song. You understand that? Yeah. Why so pale and wan, fair lover? Prithee, why so pale? Will, when looking well, can't move her, looking ill, prevail. Prithy, why so pale? Hey, go, man, go. I mean, go, 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 dope. Well, when looking well can't move her, looking ill prevail. That's it. That's the way I can get failure. It has to be. It's the only thing I haven't tried. I don't like dig. Look, girls go crazy about fellas uh, like poets who are pale and wan and hungry looking. And that's how I'm going to get failure, by looking pale and wan and hungry. How? I won't eat anything. But what are you going to do when you get hungry? Stay hungry. Look, for the love of Thalia Menninger, I can do it. I'm going on a hunger strike till she promises to be my girl. 
Dobe, you could, like, starve. Oh, well, she won't let me starve. Did, did England let Gandhi starve? Who? D D England made it. Yeah, England, I know. What's uh, the other cat? Mahatma Gandhi made it. And when that little man in the loincloth went on a hunger strike, he brought the whole British Empire to its knees. And I know failure isn't any stronger than the British Empire. Wanna bet? Failure manager, I'm asking you for the last time. Will you be my regular, steady, permanent girl? I'm telling you for the last time, I will not. All right, that does it. I'm going on a hunger strike. I don't eat anything until you say yes. Oh, Dobie, you're so funny. Here, no, have some. No, no, I'm in it, Thalia. I don't eat another bite until you're my girl. Uh, by the way, I feel a little pale and wan already. <laughs> Sorry, but I gotta eat for two now. <laughs> I was beginning to worry that your dinner might get cold. Sit down, huh? Roast lamb. No, thanks, Mom. I'm not hungry. I'm ready to go. I've lived a good life, not perfect, maybe. Made some mistakes, but all in all, a good life. I'm ready. Herbert, what are you talking about? You heard what the boy said. He is not hungry. And Dobie not hungry can mean only one thing. The end of the world is coming. Okay, I'm ready. Dobie, sit down. <laughs> Herbert, stop teasing. No, no, thanks, Mom. I'm in it. I'm not hungry. You're sick. Herbert, get the doctor. It must be something serious. No, no, really, Mom. I feel fine. I'm just not hungry. But it's roast lamb, dear, and you always like the way I fix that. Quiet, Winnie. Dolby, sit down! <laughs> Dad, I I'm not sick. I'm just not going to eat anything at all, ever again, until Thalia's my girl. You see, he's not really sick, except in the head, which I have always known. Dad, didn't you ever hear of a hunger strike? Oh, sure. And I think it's a great idea. Herbert! Well, look at it this way, Winnie. You're getting tired of going places in that old grocery truck, but we can't afford a car. Now, if Dobie lays off eating for a couple of weeks, we'll be able to save enough to buy one. Maybe two. <laughs> I think I'll go to my room. I have some reading I want to do. This book of poems by Elizabeth Barrett Browning. A lady who would have understood a hunger strike for love. And if I begin to look pale and wan, don't worry, Mother. There's raisin pie. No, oh, leave the boy be. Let him have his fun. He'll stay on this hunger strike about one hour, and then he comes sneaking out here to the refrigerator. And when he does... <laughs> How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. I... <laughs> Sorry, Elizabeth Barrett. How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. I love thee like raisin pie, and I love thee like roast lamb. I love thee like raisin pie, roast lamb. I'm starving. Well, that's right. I, I could starve to death. <laughs> Please. Gotta start out the starvation diet all at once. You gotta start out just cutting down. You gotta have something, anything. I'm not gonna Nobody will ever know. I just, just can't take not a sound, not a sound there. Nobody will ever know. I just gotta eat. I'm gonna start with you. I know, and you weren't about to either. No, sir. If my hat, my Gandhi can do it for India, I can do it for Thalia. I was just getting some, some ice for my fevered brow. Oh, well, that's different. So you're determined to stay on this hunger strike, huh? Yeah. Well, I tell you what I'm going to do to help you. I'm going to sleep on the couch in the living room tonight where I can hear you just in case you should balk in your sleep and wind up back at the refrigerator or down in the store. Oh, thanks, Dad. No, oh, think nothing thanks. of it. Just me setting the alarm? Oh, thanks. Good night, Mom. Hey, that's what I
smells good. Should I uh, go? I have my own way of calling the hat McGandy this morning. <laughs> I live this hunger strike. <laughs> decided to come back from India and rejoin us normal humans, Mahatma. Huh? I'm glad the hunger strike is over. I knew that even failure couldn't make you miss more than one meal. Oh, I, I almost forgot. Sure, the, the hunger strike's not over. I, I said I was going without food until failure's my girl, and I meant it. Joby, Joby, you've got to eat. I am not going to stand by and see that boy ruin his health. Oh, take it easy, Winnie. He just can't give in right in front of us, not yet anyway. Boys won't go long without food. He'll eat, and plenty. Come on, if you want to be late for the first class. Maynard, give me, give me. Oh, good buddy, you're on a hunger strike, remember? I remember, I remember. Oh, Doby. I think it's so wonderful you're going on a hunger strike for love. We all think it's the most thrilling thing we ever heard of. Oh, thanks. It's nothing. <laughs> Come on, hurry and finish that, Maynard, or we'll be late. Yeah, but you were going to hurry, Maynard. Thalia <laughs> you said you're just faking. She'll find out. My mother's already worried about how pale and wan I look. Oh, you do. You really do. Yeah. I think Thalia's disgusting. Yes, she is, in many ways. But my love shall purify her. How do I love thee? Let me count the words. Ah, ha, ha. Thalia <laughs> isn't the only one who thinks you're faking, Gillis. You be quiet. I told you last night I'd be a lot more impressed with you if you did something romantic like that for me. Exactly what I told you. No, Gillis. Look here, what do you think? You're a troublemaker. Yeah, we don't believe you for one minute, Gillis. You're eating on the sly. I'm not, I'm not. We'll be watching you, Gillis, every minute. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, you all better go. You'll be late for class. Don't you have to go, too? We'd like to walk over with you, Doby. You're our hero. Oh, gee, thanks. <laughs> hey, hungry lover, you want a hot dog? <laughs> now leave Doby alone. Very good hot dogs, Gillis. And I'll buy. No, thanks. Okay. Just remember, we're watching you. You mind your own business, you glutton. Here you are, Dove. I got it for you. Not here, Maynard. They're watching. Eat it, eat it. Oh. I gotta get something to eat. I'm starving. I know. Go home and eat. Maynard, I told you I'm starving there, too. My dad would laugh at me. Listen, I'll go home. You get me something to eat. Sneak it into my room through the window. Well, good boy. See I finish this. <laughs> Girls, this is just a weakness. It'll pass. Come on, we want to take you home. Huh? What courage. What fakery, you mean? Oh, shut up. What do you know about love? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. How do you stand on lynching? <laughs> You've been hungry for so long, you deserve nothing but the best. Mayor, I may murder you as soon as I finish the. Just look at her, stuffing herself, and poor Dobie's practically dying over her. She has no shame at all. Well, I'm not going to eat in public when Herm starts starving for love of me. You told him? Three nights ago. I said, Herm, you'll get no more dates with me until you go on a hunger strike for them. Me too. That's exactly what I told Frank. What happened? I haven't had a date since. Me either. 
Look, here comes Dobie. Isn't he romantic? Mm -hmm. Listen, Gillis, our girls won't give us dates unless we go on a hunger strike, too. So stop faking, or else. Please, I may faint. <laughs> we gotta do something about him. And we're going to. Watch it, Pops. This Pale and Wan fair lover's my friend. Oh, he's a kook. Yeah, but he's a Pale and Wan kook. <laughs> You're out of your demented mind. You're not fooling me. You're pretending that you're not eating and reading poetry all the time. I'm also writing poetry for you. Mm. Ophelia, your lips are like the petals of a rose. I'd like to kiss you underneath your nose. Good heavens, don't Oh, I knew you'd love it. I don't love it, and I don't like your starvation routine. Look, people are talking. Now, if Chatsworth's parents ever found out that I knew a coop like you, why, they might not let me date him anymore. So stop the act. Will you be my girl? No. Then I'll go on starving myself, unto the death. If I can't have you, my darling, I'd rather not have life itself. We poets are like that. He who for love hath undergone the worst that can befall is happier thousandfold than one who never loved at all. <laughs> ah, me. Alone, alone. <laughs> Good buddy, you're never gonna get Thalia this way, and those fellas are sore. Why don't you give up? I won't give up. I won't eat until failure is mine. <laughs> meet me in my room, same as usual, but this time bring meat. You hear red meat? I gotta have it. For three nights you've been bringing ice cream and candy and nuts and cracker jacks. I gotta have meat. You hear red meat? I gotta have it. <laughs> Red meat. Nothing else, just a salami. A red one, the reddest. A garlic salami? The garlickiest. I went all the way across town to get it for you. <laughs> Will you please stop worrying, Winnie? The boy is eating. I don't know where, but he is eating. In fact, he looks to me like he's putting on weight. I don't know what kind of a father you can be, Herbert Gillis. I'm the kind of a father who can spot a phony. Oh! That must be Thalia. Come in. Thalia? I am taking matters into my own hands. Hi, I got your message. I have a date, but I thought I'd stop by and see what you wanted. Uh, this is Chatsworth Osborne, Jr., Mr. and Mrs. Gillis. How do you do? Hi, John. You, uh, live here? Yeah, what's the matter with it? Oh, nothing, nothing. It's very amusing. Yeah, we have a lot of fun just sitting around laughing at it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thalia. I asked you to come over because I wanted to have a little talk with you, woman to woman. You know that Dobie isn't eating because of you. <laughs> oh, now, Mrs. Gillis. He, he really isn't eating? Of course he isn't. Can't you see that he's wasting away before our very eyes? <laughs> no. No, you couldn't. You're not his mother. Only a mother looking at her baby through the eyes of love could see. Oh, Thalia, you must help me. You must just say the words, whatever they are, that will make him eat. Oh, please, Thalia, you must. Please, save my baby's life for me. Okay. Though that salami's like a lot garlicier than I thought. Oh, darling, Thalia's here. She wants to talk to you. <laughs> the salami's gone, but the melody lingers on. They're not waiting to get near me. My baby! <laughs> you and raised you. Maybe you listen to them. No, 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 I can't. I can't. Oh, he hates me. I, well, I can't blame him. Dobie. Dobie, I, I didn't know you really weren't eating until your mother told me. Dobie, Dobie, please look at me. No, 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 leave me alone. Please. Go away, Thayla. Go away or I'll jump. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll give in, Dobie. I'm yours. Dobie, she's yours. How about a steak? Dobie, please come back inside. I'm yours. Just one moment, please. Thalia, can you be serious? I mean, are you giving me up for him? Yes, Chatsworth. In that case, you leave me no alternative. I shall go on a hunger strike. No, what? That's precisely what I said. If you won't be my girl, I shan't eat. And I should like to point out that when I don't eat, it's rather more impressive than when 
He doesn't eat. I don't eat. I'm denying myself caviar, squab, lobster, crepe Suzettes for breakfast. But that's what Dobie doesn't eat. I wouldn't eat in any case. Pork and beans, hominy grits, ham hocks. <laughs> so you see, Thalia, in my case, a hunger strike is rather a major undertaking. Uh, yes, you've got a point there, Chatsworth. Oh, I'm sorry, Dobie, but you see how it is. I really don't have any choice, do I? Oh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Gillis. Do you really have crepe Suzette for breakfast? Oh, every morning. <laughs> I get off this hunger strike kick. You're like dead, though. Not yet, I'm not. Gandy didn't quit, and by George, neither am I. <laughs> Okay, Gillis, your hunger strike is over. You got the pizza, and we got the picture to show the girls. Hold everything, son. Here's Dad to the rescue. I'm sick and tired of this hunger strike nonsense, and you're gonna eat. But, Dad, my hunger strike's over. I just ate. Boy, did I eat. Now, don't lie to me, boy. Dad, Dad. You're gonna eat and that's all the Dad, rest Dad, wait a minute now. Dad. I mean, he's such a nice fella and, and a handsome. And rich. Mm -hmm, rich, yeah. Yes, but it's you, Dobie. Uh -huh. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm hooked. Uh, Eat. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Betty. I, I just can't. But you must. <laughs> now, remember, when we get married... <laughs> when we get married, you're not going to be able to afford a cook or going out to restaurants, so I'm going to have to do all the cooking. So you might as well learn to like it. Come on. Come on, Dobie. No arguing. Just eat. 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 <laughs> there. Wasn't that wonderful? You know, it surprises me, but I like doing things for you. Like cooking. Uh, the, 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 you, you say we're going to get married? Yes. And after we're married, you're going to do yes. the cooking? And and this is what you cook best? Yes, that's right. Uh -huh. uh, what are you doing? Calling Chatsworth Osborne, Jr. For you. Dreamy Dobie, 
Wants a gal as creamy doby. Wants a gal to call his own. Is she blonde? Is she tall? Is she dark? Is she small? Is she any kind of dream? Whatever.